Next up, we're going to be taking a look at programming some close-voiced house piano chords. Here we have an example of your typical two-handed rhythmic house piano part, played here by an instance of the NI Alicia's Keys piano instrument. This whole part has been programmed in Logic's Piano Roll Editor rather than played, and we've accompanied it with a simple 8-bar house drum loop at 125 BPM for the purposes of illustration. <laughs> Let's examine the two parts individually. Here we've removed the left hand bass notes, leaving just the chords played by the right hand. For this kind of part it's often preferable to use close voiced chords, by which we mean chords where all the notes are played as close together as possible, as we see here, rather than being spread out across the keys. Our first chord contains the notes F2, G2, B flat 2 and D3, making a G minor 7 chord. The standard voicing for this chord would have the dominant 7th note, the F, up on F3. But by moving it down an octave to just below the root note of G2, to F2, we've closed up the voicing so that the notes were as close together as possible, creating a classic house chord. Similarly, our second chord is an A flat major 7, made up of G2. A flat 2, C3, and E flat 3. Voiced this way, with the 7th, the G note, played an octave lower than normal. It not only sounds authentic, but it fits in with the common technique used when creating house progressions of using the smallest possible movements when changing chords. In fact, throughout this whole progression, all the notes played remain within the same one octave register. The next chord moves a single note to get to the standard F minor 7 shape of F2, A flat 2, C3, and E flat 3. This is followed by another classic house chord, the diminished 7th. F2, A flat 2, B2, and D3. This is made by dropping the top two notes of the F minor 7 shape down by a semitone each. The part ends with a bar of the same G minor 7 voicing as before. With a final bar dropping the F2 by one semitone to form an E minor 7 flat 5th chord of E2, G2, B flat 2, and D3. Adding the left hand part back in further alters the effective shape of the chords. This part has been derived from transposing the root note of each chord down an octave, but after the first two chords, the tension is increased by changing the root note of the chord. The F minor 7 at the start of bar 2 is played over a D bass, or the F diminished 7 is played over a G bass. The final two bars are both played over a C bass, making the last two chords effectively B flat 6 over C and C7 add 9. 